When I started Slushy, I just wanted to make anime music that could get me booked a show, one show. And it took me all the way here. Hey, what's up guys? Julian here, also known as Slushy and Sapien Dream. I started using FL Studio when I was about, I wanna say 12 or 13, around FL 10. So this is very crazy and awesome and full circle that I'm here today. I've been wanting to make a pack for a long time and I'm very, very happy to announce Slushy Eternal Dream Sounds. I tried to approach this pack as if I was approaching creating like actual songs to just try to get like the most close to my sound as possible. You know, Slushy for me was, was my way to get kind of my you know, teenage angst and like just super bubblegum, explosion, colorful sound out there. And um, Sapient Dream is kind of like a like an audio diary for me. Because of my autism, my uh, music is, is, is a first language, English is a second language. So Sapient Dream for me gave me the opportunity to express what was going on inside in a way that I couldn't in English. Today I'm going to be making a song using FL Cloud in FL Studio, so let's get into it. I know how I want something to sound, I just don't necessarily know what it's called some of the times. So being able to have world instruments, live instruments, different genre categories, it takes the guesswork out of it. That is fire. I can just open FL Studio, go, I want to make a world sounding song or a, a jazz sounding song, and I can type in jazz and I get some jazz piano, I drop it into SliceX and I, I can make a beat. And I, I, I was never able to do that before. Oh, I like that. And the other sounds, so I'm gonna mess with those too. With FL Cloud, you can drag samples directly into plugins and you can drag it directly into the playlist and directly into the music that you're working on. So one of the reasons why FL Studio is one of my favorite DAWs is that it's very drag and drop. Like there is no wrong way to do something in, in FL Studio. I am currently EQing it to make sure that there's no uh, un unneeded low end. A lot of a lot of grossness, a lot of grossness down there. So you want to cut all that out to get some of the artifacts out of there. Parametric EQ2, it's my favorite plugin. I've got Asperger's and I'm on the autism spectrum, so I, I visualize music. So having parametric EQ to be able to play with the EQ bands in a very visual way really kind of helped me define what I wanted my music to almost look like in a way. Let's try going into hidden gems. See what we got there. Yes. Oh. Being able to kind of do all of this in DAW is just pretty insane. All it really takes to kind of get out of that rut is to hear something that inspires you. And so I think the fact that there's going to be, you know, artists that are that are putting their own stories and their own heart into these packs, that it's going to be an extra tool for for up and coming and and current producers to just pull inspiration out of out of, out of the air. It's, I haven't hung with my good friend Citrus in a while. You can hop over right from cutting audio to MIDI, and you can build on top of that. So now I'm gonna create a beat. Now is a great opportunity to go into my pack, see if I can find some good drums. 
Oh, okay. That's that's the one. Something nice, something simple. Really pitch it up a little bit. Uh, hi hat now. This this needs like an like an intro kind of clap. Uh, yeah, there you go. Being able to go ahead and, and just drag it over from a cloud service is pretty great because it downloads immediately and then you can just drag it right over to your project. So um, it's very convenient, very convenient. Now that's, that's in the song. I have an affinity for technology and an affinity for like computer sounds and, and UI. So um, a lot of the sounds in this pack are my crack at interpretations of like USB entering and disconnecting sounds, startup noises. Tried to focus a lot on, on weirder sounds that, you know, you can go ahead and stretch, reverse, chop. Somebody's. Oh. Oh, 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 who's calling? It's, uh, let me see if I can actually work that in. Got it to work. Just getting this 808 in here. Gonna EQ it a little bit. Get it sounded all nice and fat. I'll usually get like a rhythm down and then I'll just go into the piano roll, try to see if I can get any, um, you know, triplet rhythms or kind of melodies going. So the cool part about this is that you can, I think, legato the notes. Yeah. Now I can copy this and add another bass layer to it to make it a little thicker. Let's use... 3x OSC. So let's distort this with the classic blood overdrive. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little Piano edition using FL keys, classic. My ADHD brain tends to bounce around to all these different uh, forms of inspiration, and I'm, I'm very thankful for that that, you know, my, my brain that got me in trouble in school is, is now actually working for me. When I downloaded FL Studio, I didn't know a thing. And there are still times where friends of mine teach me things that I, I didn't know. We're all always going to be still learning at the end of the day. So there is no wrong place to start. There is no right time to start. Best time to start is now. You just gotta open that door. There's there's nothing stopping you from opening that door. Open it. Enter the cloud. My pack Eternal Dream Sounds is on FL Cloud right now.